to all the dispossessed youth of Africa for perpetuation of communion with ancestral spirits through the fight for African freedom and in the firm faith that the dead, the living, and the unborn will unite to build the destroyed shrines. Sila. Hello and welcome, beloveds, to another special message from the Ancient Ones. My name is Dr. Mumbi Saraki. How are you doing? How's everything going? I really do pray that you are well in all your ways and that you're moving into living life uh, truly on your own terms, beloveds. We really want to thank everyone that supports us on Patreon, everyone that likes the videos, and all of you that comment. I absolutely love, you know, walking through the, co the, the comment streets and seeing where uh, your minds and hearts are at and recognizing that really I'm not alone. There's so much confirmation that I get from you guys. We are not alone. Not even just I and I. I and I are not alone. <laughs> all of we are not alone. Uh, there's so many of us on the right side of his story, our story, or we're even just creating our own story. But those are definitely stories uh, for other days. Special shout out to my Patreon family. And yeah, did I just say that? Anyway, this is a special message from the Ancient Ones, beloveds. And they really wanted to um, stress the fact that we have to really strengthen our minds and our hearts. And we have to break, you know, the, the way they put it is we need to stop being afraid of hearing the truth. Because, you know, a lot of people, the truth is so much. So they'll call you a conspiracy theorist. They'll, you, your spirit will buck. That's how you've been engineered and indoctrinated to react. And some of the truths, beloveds, some of us have been truth seekers all our lives. So there's nothing much that can shock us about what the wicked ones have done and are doing. But for many, when they start seeing the truth of everything that has happened and the lies they've believed, it almost is too much for their system. And it's almost like they shut that out. But beloved, this is the time to see the truth for what it really is. Because you cannot change anything in this world until you know about it. That's why the, one of the greatest lies and spells out there is the spell called ignorance is bliss. Less is more. These are lies, beloveds. Okay, less is more can be in another way. Anyway, let me not get into that. But ignorance is not bliss. The real power statement is knowledge is power because we live in a mental world, beloveds. And so much has been done on the occult level to manipulate. Because you see, the occult is in that mental, spiritual world. So they do so much to engineer this matrix as it is, or this patrix as it is. They do so much to create this environment, beloveds. And it is a blood sacrifice reality. They, Because you see, those those that are in control, are like vampires. They don't have their own energy to create. They're not creators. So they create off the energy of others, of the backs of others, of the blood of others. Not only do they need that for their own sustenance, but they need that to push certain agendas. So they will forcibly release certain spirits from this realm, ma creating a massive fall in low in, in in vibration and then they'll even harvest those those are almost like sacrifices to their gods beloveds and the sacrifices go right down to their families where individual family members i mean their religion the father sacrificed the son that's not that's not just a story beloveds that's what many and many of these occultists that are ruling right now because it's blood rulership they're using blood to rule and to control and dominate people. It's that blood rulership where many have and are ready to sacrifice brothers, sisters, daughters, sons, some even their own mothers. And I know we've seen a lot of the celebrities do that. But it's not just celebrities, beloveds. You see that the Babylon system is everywhere because their secret societies, their occult societies are everywhere. 
And if you look at most of the laws, like let me just talk about Africa, it's all about freedom of religion. Like here in Kenya, we have freedom of religion. So you can be a Satanist if you want to be. You can be a Luciferian if you want to be. As long as you don't harm others. And ironically, in Kenya, they actually did. Um, during our, we had this dictator called Moy. During his presidency, he actually called for like a report on the occult societies here in Kenya. And he was so shocked at who was involved that he even just, it was never released, long story short, because it was so prevalent. So this isn't, it's, it's not only the freaking Kanye Wests that are sacrificing their mothers and things like that. Judges, presidents, billionaires in your country are following that same occult system. And you see, for, and, and the thing is, they're so well cloaked that they almost look like they're so admired by the people because they're the wealthy ones. They're the ones with the fancy cars, with the big jobs, with the power, with the riches. But if they told you what they had to do for those riches, you'd never want a coin from any of them. And so if you don't see the truth, beloveds, then you'll always think the sinners are saints and the saints are sinners. You'll always think that that guy who sacrificed his children and maybe even his grandchildren is some great person. And when you give someone that reverence, it's like you're giving the beast behind him that reverence and that power. You're, you're, you're even adding your energy to their system. Let's take a short break. We'll be right back. Welcome back, beloveds, to, another, to a special message from the Ancient Ones where they really are encouraging us to strengthen up our hearts and our minds because many disclosures are going to happen. You see, the, the greatest power that the Babylon system has had, um, you know, the Jesuit system, whatever you want to call it, has been the power over people's minds and the ignorance, keeping people ignorant of themselves, of how they work, how the world works, how the universe works. But now, because, you know, there, and there's been a battle, beloveds, that's been going on like crazy in the heavenlies to help us get our freedom back, our mental and creative power back and to get it back into our control. Because right now it's just being you know, it's been kind of captured. Our collective creative power has been captured. Our collective God literally has been captured and is being used by, by you know, the negative system to hurt us. And this is a blood sacrifice system. So there are certain truths that are going to be revealed. And it will be some of the, the more personal truths about the people in your lives who have been using occult powers to manipulate family situations well, you know, you may realize that some relatives died because they were sacrifices and not by accident or, you know, what, what let me not go, get too deep into that. There's so many personal truths because everything, we're in the season of revelation, so everyone is being exposed. And as the frequency rises higher, you see a lot of these, um, you know, occultists, they're cloaked right now. They cloak themselves in the expensive cars and the perfume and the expensive clothes and the designer watch and the this and the that. And that hides in the makeup and the weaves. And that's why they encourage that so much so they can hide amongst us. And I really feel like this, the, the, the facial diaper is because some are really going to be walking amongst us. And we'll have alien faces and made, and that will, you know, hide their identity because we're, the, 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 there's a quickening that's happening, beloveds. And so those who have been hiding in plain sight, it's like their, their, their cloaks, their masks, their everything are falling off. So there'll be a lot of painful revelations or maybe powerful confirmations of the people, the people around you, the people in your family. And if you are a chosen one, you've probably, you were probably born into an occult family or, you know, there was some handler somewhere that was sent to control and manipulate you. But there will be other deeper truths. The fact that there's more than seven planets on this plane, that this plane is massive and there are other beings living just here. Let's forget about millions and millions of universes, planes of existence. 
And you see, now we haven't been able to do that because they kept us blind. But now the blinders are off, beloved. So the whole cloaking, there was like a cloaking of the planet, a cloaking of us as a people is off now. So we can see ourselves clearly. We can see the enemy clearly, but we will be seeing our spiritual family. And there have been so many sightings, but because we've never been made to believe in them, there's been so many sightings, even recently, beloved. Please check um, like these weather channels. Like, is it Mr. B333 or something like that? Just you'll t and he does weather. And there's been sightings of all unident, you know, UFOs, unidentified flying objects, flashes of light, all these things. Like the, the heavenlies are piercing the cloaking that has hidden us from them. So we are going to be having a false alien disclosure, which is like a false Christ return. But we are also going to be having our true ancestors returning as well. And so you have to have prepared your heart so you don't even just, so you don't even go into shock when these things start happening. So you're strong enough. And so you're strong enough to even believe in the right thing, to see the right thing because you see what, what your heart can handle. And there's nothing to fear but fear itself, beloveds. No one has any power over you. But the lies they've told is what has totally like consumed and controlled you. But there's going to be so many revelations of what has been done in this world. What the genocide of Ru in Rwanda was really about. Who was behind it? What World War I and World War II were really about? Who was behind them? Why such a massive blood sacrifice? And the wicked things that are being done even till today to our women and children. All of these things, beloved are going to be revealed. So please, strengthen your hearts, beloveds, and don't hold on to a truth that was given to you by your oppressor. Because one thing that the oppressor did is he made many, many people allergic to the real truth. So they're so quick to believe a, you know, believe a lie. What do they say? The lie goes around the world before the truth has had its chance to put its boots on. And you need to get out of their lies so that you can see the truth for real because they're going to be trying to manipulate everything. It's mental and the mental creates this physical. They know what's coming. Our people know also what's coming. We know what's coming. But the majority don't. And those are the majority that, can, that they're going to. That's, that's who everyone is fighting for. That majority group thing, controlling that majority group thing. So don't hold on so tightly to the narratives you've been told by your oppressor, your former colonizer, your former slave master, or the person that slave mastered, you know, was the slave master of our people. Don't believe their stories so much. Because that's one of many of our people's failures, is you, 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 you buck at the truth. You almost want to attack the truth tellers. So much is going to be revealed, beloveds. And just like our spirit, the spiritual rescue, like our spiritual cosmic ancestors are going to be coming through, the beasts that have been buried underground, that have been literally controlling and manipulating this world, that the, the, these beast systems have been feeding, are also going to be coming to the surface. You guys need to check out this whole purple light thing that's happening in the divided states where the street lights are all of a sudden turning purple. So much is happening. Tuko pamoja.